hi guys! Today, I am going to be going over something pretty cool. It is the prequests for Crexel. Now, do you have any idea who that is? Because when I first heard of him, which was like, okay, a couple of years ago, but still. No, wait, no, a year ago. I didn't know who he was. Like, everyone was like, oh hey, Crexel this, Crexel that. And I was like, what the hell is Crexel? I've been playing this game for years and have never even heard of him. This is Crexel. He is a big tree boss. He is, uh, pretty cool. He doesn't really give you much rewards, but you know what? He's still a pretty fun to fight. So, let's get started. You're gonna come to this town, which is the town right before MP3. If you don't know where that is, I will include a link in a little bubble somewhere in the video, so look around. It might be in the corner somewhere. Now, you're gonna look for this NPC called Ralph the Wanderer. This quest is called Secret of the Past. So, you're gonna accept that quest from him. This is the first quest. And it's going to take you a little bit further past MP3. Just in case you don't know where that is, I have included a video demonstration of the pathway you need to take. So, here's MP3. Now, one monster you need to kill is in this map, but I'm gonna show you a better map. You need to kill a hundred pack pinkies. Alright, now if you come over to the ship, there's a door, go inside. In this ship, there are pack pinkies. First room, right there. Look at that. That's pretty easy. Yeah. Alright, so that's the room you're gonna fi fight them, alright? Now, the top left, or top right corner, takes you to another room, and that is where you find your hundred slimies. You need to kill a hundred of them. Then you come back and talk to your what's my call it dude and he gives you a bunch of seafood stuff and uh, then you're gonna accept the next quest making the path to the sea so once you accept this quest it's more killing monsters now the best place is the mp3 map you need to kill 120 slimies and selkie juniors both of these monsters are located in this map so just stay there now that doesn't take too long turn that in get some more seafood and when you're done, accept the next quest, The Great Secret Reveals. Now, this quest involves you, again, killing monsters. You don't collect any drops yet for the first couple quests. So, watch carefully as I go through this. Now, I go back through that door that I just came through, and it doesn't take me to the same place I just was. I'm going to go then to the top right corner, and then here's the, the Selkie Juniors. And then I'm going to go to this door right there. And this is where you find your Mr. Anchors. And you need to kill 300 of these guys. So you're going to be here a little longer than you were the other guys. I would suggest collecting the red essences that they drop. Very important. Turn that in, and he's going to give you a white essence along with a random item. Now the white essence is actually to summon a different boss. This boss is Captain Lutanica, and he is a much easier boss to fight. Now, you're going to accept the next quest, Fight for the Future, and just watch what options I choose. I, whenever he gives you some, like, he asks you, like, a question, and you got some options to choose, you want to click the first one, and then I believe the next one, I have to click the second one. You gotta just read it, it makes a lot of sense. One answer makes you sound like a douche and the other one makes you sound like a concerned person. You gotta act, act like the concerned person. So, he then tells you that you have to defeat Captain Lutanica and he is the next boss and you use the white essence to summon him when you drop it in front of the door in this one area in the haunted ship. So, that being said, it's a lot like the Zakum Eye of Fire thing where you drop the Eye of Fire and it summons Zakum, blah blah blah. Yeah, a lot of bosses seem to do that. So, there's also a quest called the Lost White Essence. Let's say you lost your White Essence and you need another one. He gives you a quest so you can get another one. Or, if you want to refight Captain Lutanica later on, that's the quest you would do to get another White Essence. The only thing is you have to fight 300 Mr. Anchors again, and collect 300 red essences. 
So the first time, you don't have to get the red essences. The second time, you do. Now, if you haven't been paying attention, this is the pathway you take to get to Captain Lutanica. Alright, see that bottom right door where the Mr. Anchors were? Alright, go in there. Then you're in, you go through the portal, drop the white essence on the door. And when I first did this, I was like, where, how do I summon him? Because I like skipped through everything and didn't know what to do. It's like, wait, is it an eye of fire? And so I'm like waiting around like, shit, it's not summoning. I'm like, oh, and then he just poofed there. So, it took me literally a second to kill. Now, you have to fight this boss and get his drop to be able to fight Krexel. You only have to do this once. I noticed I could fight Krexel twice, and I didn't have to go back to fight Captain Lutanica. So, now that Captain Lutanica is out of the way and you have his drop, you can start the next chain of quests for Krexel. So, really, you gotta do two different sets of prequests to fight Krexel. And the next quest is entering Ulu City. You could actually get this quest before you did the other quests. But the thing is, is you would get to a point where you go to fight Krexel and you wouldn't have Captain Lutanica's drop. That's why you need to do that. So, you're going to follow the pathway that I am currently going, you know, and this will lead you to the next set of monsters that you have to fight, and then, uh, it's a long night. Okay, so here's the, here's the next guys. You need to kill 50 berserkies and collect 50 sweat beads, or is that sweet? No, that, that's sweat beads. Alright, then the, the, the next map over to the right, kill 50 Vtrons, which are the, like, the guys holding the little beetle things, and then collect 50 Vtron horns. And then if you keep going over to the right even more, there's going to be these truck things called Montressors, and you need to kill 30 of them, and then collect 30 of their drops, which are oil canisters. So... Once you finally get all those done, you're going to head back to where the Berserkies are, and there's a guy there called Commando Jim. And this is the guy you're going to go to to finish the rest of these quests, and he's got the rest of the quests you need to finish up. You're going to accept the next quest, Pushing Forward in Yulu City. I have a feeling that should say Into, but I don't know, maybe there's some translation issues again. You're going to collect, or no, yeah, you're going to collect 100... Slygy tails and kill a hundred Slygies. They're the worm things that you're gonna find in a few maps. If you keep heading to the right, eventually you're gonna find them. I think it's two maps from Commando Gym to the right. So, past the Montressors, you get to a map where these stone golems are. There's also Montressors there, but if you keep going, you'll find maps with just stone golems. They're called Petrifighters. You need to kill 100 of those and collect 100 of their drops, which are the Moss Rocks. Once you get those done, you can head back and turn that in. And then he's got another quest, Ulu City Energy Thieves. Now, this one isn't as bad, because you only have to kill one set of monster and collect their drops instead of having to collect from like three or two sets of monsters so if you keep going this is the map where it's just the the whatever the golem things past that you're gonna find these tree like creatures called dukus or no dukus i'm getting i'm getting too much into zelda kill a hundred dukus and then collect a hundred rafflesias those are the flower like things on their heads and they drop those so there's all sorts of maps with those in it, and you gotta kill, collect those. And then you get the hammer. This hammer, along with the drop from Captain Lutanica, is what you need. You need to then get the quest, Savior of Ulu City. Now it says right there, as you're accepting this quest, that you need those two items. Oh, hey look, is a hacker. Yeah, on my way to fight Krexel, I ran into multiple hackers. So... See that tree in the middle of the map there? There's a portal when you stand on it. This takes you to the map right before you fight Krexel. Now, it's not... It's kind of like a jump quest, but you still have your speed and everything. So you're going to climb to the top, and then there's a 
portal at the very top. I kind of cut it off there, but oh well, you get the idea. So there's the NPC to leave when you're done. Now you buff up and see that little branch? You gotta hit that thing until it disappears. That's how you summon Crexel. So once he, once, you have to hit it like five, six times. And then this big ass tree, which just seems dead, just grows a mouth, and two eyes, and you have to attack one eye at a time. Once you kill one eye, you go to the other one, and uh, it's fun. So, he doesn't give that great of rewards though, I basically just got a bunch of random level 90 to 100 drops, in the past he dropped skill books, but not anymore apparently. So, you turn that in, and I literally got another level 90, or no, it was 100 glove. Like seriously, I just dropped like two of those today. <laughs> and I got another one so I mean it's an interesting boss I didn't really know about him until someone randomly told me about him and apparently he had been around for a while so I'm kinda doing this to bring it to your attention cuz a lot of people still don't know about him and so you know he's a, he's a cool he's a cool boss you know you, you wanna go fight a boss it is a, it's a boss you could go fight so I thought I would do a video showing you how to do this because hey you know what I looked it up and the only video I could find of someone doing these quests was from pre Big Bang that's right I was like whoa and on top of that he sped through everything like okay you know when I show you how to get somewhere and it's like sped up really fast well he did that through the whole fucking movie I couldn't fucking follow it I was like wow this is like confusing to all hell so I figured i will narrate it and send it to my subscribers and I'll help them out and they'll love me for it I guess I don't know I've been up all night if you haven't noticed so I'm gonna go get a haircut now and you can like this video or you can dislike it if you want I don't care uh, either way it helps me and then you can subscribe if you want to see more boss prequests uh, eventually I'm gonna get to Horntail eventually so and uh but i don't know i felt very obligated to just get this one out of the way because it's not self-explanatory in my opinion so i hope you enjoyed my video i'll talk to you guys later